Good morning everyone, welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming channel as we're continuing our campaign through Phoenix Point. And let's start moving to the base, let's pick our person here, we'll pick Nina and transfer her into the ship. Let's see, she has everything that we want, probably a good idea for the future to replace her armor, but for now this is what we're working with. With that in mind, let's throw ourselves at this haven. The alien strength is a 7. We would get these resources if we win. Intervene to eliminate the threat, protect as many civilians as possible. If you are successful, you will receive a reward from the haven. And let's get to it. I'm really looking forward to getting some of these warriors. With the first time I've played this game, I went somehow in my mind like I was going to do a playthrough of all at some point, and maybe we will. But I went with the humans, New Jericho, like that's why the team is forsaking your XCOM roots in order to join the aliens or the pro alien faction, because I always go with factions that protect humanity. And he, somehow, in this game, I always like to do the more faction-oriented, like whenever you have a option to be neutral, even though I like to be neutral more than anything else, I always go with the uh, light side and dark side, or I go with, for example, in The Witcher, I go with uh, human, with the Order of the Rose, if I remember correctly, what's it called, and then I go with the elves, and... I haven't played The Witcher yet, the series, by just being neutral. And so it's quite exciting for me right now to go on, on this path. We've noticed one of the aliens. But we do not have a line of sight on it. She has really good spotting capabilities as our sniper. I'm prepared. There's no cover near this car, so let's take this road. I, we really need to rush. During these missions, the aliens will always go for humans. So basically their goal is to kill as much, as many humans as possible. And we will have to be very careful. Over here we can see some of New Jericho's soldiers, there will be a few around. We can go to them and we can take control of their troops. It can be fairly useful in order to play slightly smarter and at the same time not risk your own soldiers doing it. Uh, I can't do a whole lot with you, but I can take at least control of one of the humans. And that means that I can retreat him. We'll bring him here. I'm actually going to take him at the evacuation point. With our sniper, I guess I'll try to do an overwatch like so. Nice. A good hit on one enemy that we haven't spotted before. The aliens have to move a lot. I think that is a yeah one of these shield guys. There is a few too many here. Oof. And we are uh, slightly out of position. Like I, I feel like I'm risking our heavy a lot. But we will have to do it. So I am taking him forward. We're gonna retreat this humans civilian. Let's bring her behind the building. I will retreat you... Yeah, they don't have a lot of shooting capabilities. I don't think they'll be able to take any of them out. 
Sniper, do you have a good line of sight? You would have another line of sight here. So I'll move you forward. And let us see. Can I kill you? Not really. But I can hurt him a lot. There we go. We've disabled its arm. He has 10 more hit points and he's bleeding for 10. This guy has 10 hit points and he's bleeding for 10. We're forsaken some of the experience. There we go. Pretty good hit. What's our plan? Time to move you forward. And I am going to take the Triton out. Good. So another one down there. How do I do? I guess I'll just throw another soldier in. I'm s I am a bit afraid that we're going to take a lot of damage and we're risking our operatives. Well, look, we've taken control. We can move them outside. And at this point, they will have to either engage us or go after the civilians. And we can set up a few more overwatches. There it is. With you, we have two more soldiers at this point. And I will Let's bring go. one here. I could take the shot to kill them, but I'll try an overwatch like this. And I'll bring Nina forward and see if I can take this guy out. Good. Well, if these agents will help us... Then we're gonna be totally fine. Okay, so he might die there. No, he healed himself. We got poisoned, but we've taken him out by shooting back. Your soldier is poisoned and taking damage each turn. The poison value will decrease each turn, but it is best to heal as soon as possible. Great. Hmm. That's another Triton there. The Overwatch didn't activate. It's unfortunate. There's a lot of bleeding, but we should be fine. If I use the heavy now. Really cool. This weapon has been destroyed. Let's heal ourselves. Good. And then let us get out. Let's do this. I feel like that is the last enemy. Ready to engage. Target hit. Good, we're gonna try to shoot again here. Almost, but didn't take it out. Ready. I bring the sniper around, it doesn't have the range, but I guess we could shoot with you. Mission complete. Awesome. So we have enough resources right now. We need to do a lot of these missions. It's one of the few sources of constant materials, food and tech. Because we do have those scavenging missions where we go around, but those are limited. Pandora and attack analysis. Analysis of the Pandora movement patterns have failed to identify their origin. The exact location of the Pandora colony responsible for the attack remains unknown. If a colony attacks from within Phoenix base, scanning range, it would be detected immediately. Yeah, basically it's telling us 
that we should have some bases to scan. This base might have been attacked from this direction or this direction. I'm not sure if they can come from further away. We are constructing the satellite uplinks. It will take three more days to start scanning these areas for mission. Let me take show you heavens. Most heavens will be suffering some degree of starvation, which will reduce the population meter over time. Food production is usually insufficient and a small proportion of underfed population will starve each day. The starvation rate is dramatically increased if the heaven is within a Pandoran mist zone because scavenging for food becomes more hazardous. And these are the bases. So they have this kind of population. They have military strength, production and food supply. At the moment they're at zero. They would be trading food for materials and tech as well. They are outside of the mist status. And we can decide here to recruit soldiers if they have training centers, like we could do this, get another heavy. We could raid them for resources. We could steal aircrafts. And let's see, what else do we have in the other heavens? Factories, food production. So these guys are doing quite well. If we take a look at one of the heavens, from the Disciples. Elite Residential. Okay, there's nothing special that I can get for them from them at the moment. Sabotage, New Jericho, Heaven Factory. Sabotage. Everybody wants to sabotage the others. That, except for me. I do not want to do that right now. We lost some of the, our willpower there. We're gonna... Rest? Summary. Mindfraggers are bioweapons designed to control and possibly abduct human subjects. The creature said detaches from the body during an attack, becoming permanently linked to its host. Fortunately, killing an, the attached creature will remove it safely, restoring the victim to a normal state of mind. Mindfraggers. Funny how that crude name our soldiers came up with stuck. Appropriate, I suppose. These vile creatures personify everything that makes the Pandorans so despicable. They are designed to rob us of our will. Of our okay, will. that was just a random chat. There's nothing to look at. So we're doing Pandoran colonies, shotgun technologies. What else do we want to do? Probably... Blast resistance technology. Blast res vest is available for but the unusual organic molecular structure of the hatching sentinel skin has some promising application in blast resistant technology. Sounds pretty good to me. We'll see what else we find. Those bases will be constructing. There's not a lot that we can do right now, probably. Might be a good idea to start building a training center. Since we're just sitting still for a while in plenty of these territories. We're gonna heal up our team. I've... Minefragger Egg doesn't do a whole lot. It tells us that... If we get close, they hatch. We get food, we get materials. This is a transmission to the world. We are the pure, and our time hiding in the shadows is over. Squads of our chosen warriors are already combing the world in search of resources and technology that will help us defeat the Pandoran threat. A word of warning, don't get in our way. We will show no mercy. We will allow no bargaining. We are the pure. Okay. There we go, we received a, a warning from the pure. Because we decided not to ally with them. Okay, we have a mission. Hmm. It's gonna take us a while to get here. Like what I'm thinking right now is that I'll start moving north. to North America and then we will start going towards 
Russia, and then to the south, Korea, Japan, all that. Yeah, we have quite a few missions ahead of us. It's spreading. The fog is spreading. We have another enemy ev invasion. What is this? So, Pandoran Intelligence Report. We've got brand new mutations. Artron Shield Bearer. A new specimen of Artron mutated to have large carapace and organic shields, additional protecting it from physical damage. You know, it, they were quite weak. They've developed now this kind of armor. Behavior analysis suggests this might be the Pandoran's attempt to create an equivalent of the Heavy Soldier class. There we go. They've go, grown a bit stronger, have some armor on them. The first specimen of Artron that adapted to the use of firearms. The exact method of this process remains unclear, but somehow they managed to transform old human weapons and incorporate them into their bodies. Okay, we have an Artron with something of, like a rifle. And then we have the Triton footpad. Another one that uses... Let me go here. Someone that uses rifle. Human assault rifles. So that is what that is. They also have really good perception range and they can jump up and down one level of building. Plus they can regenerate different kinds of body parts. Over on this side, sub enemy invasion at the enemy invasion. This seems more like a... What? Under attack? They are under attack by the Disciples. So, in this situation, I will actually not intervene. I think they are the Disciples, right? It doesn't really show us who they're being attacked by. Let's just wait and see. Does the blue represent anything? Actually, let's go take a look. Okay. High threat level, nighttime. Enemy, the pure are f attacking. Oh, so the robots are fighting here. Intervene to eliminate the threat, protecting the Haven's key structure. If you are successful, you will receive re rewards from the Haven. Okay. It's going to be a difficult mission, but I feel like we're going to get some good experience out of it. Maybe I shouldn't have waited this long. However, what are we going to do in the meantime? We need resources. We need people to be on our side. Because we will betray them at some point. Okay, so they have all of these buildings here. I'm guessing that they decided, the pure decided to attack the food source. We have a pure sniper. Look at that, extended shield, bionic augmentation, means bleed immunity, viral poison and paralysis resistance and vulnerable to acid and demolition state, breach walls and solid constructs by walking through them. So many abilities, so strong. We'll have to be careful here. Okay, I will move the sniper just a tiny bit closer. We're gonna do a free aim here. And I will try to take out... Let's try to take out the sniper. Oof! We've missed. Yeah, can't do too much. Let's go like this. Our assaults are not that accurate or can't really do damage at this level. So I'm going to try to move us closer and maybe a few even double time it.
the heavy could be really good in this situation. Let's bring him here. And if they're distracted for one turn, destroying buildings or whatnot, then we might have a good chance to use our heavy to do a lot of damage to their heavy armor. Okay, he tried to hit our sniper as well. Now he's done extended shield, protecting him from the front. Let's see, there's another assault. Yeah, and another assault attacking the buildings. Apparently we can't really see much on this side. Hmm. I will get closer. And let's see, do, do we do damage at this point? We do not. Then I am going to put another overwatch here. We'll take the sniper, let's take the sniper again. And we're gonna try to take it. Yeah, those shields are really not helping us. Can I move forward? I can, but I'm not sure that that is a good angle. If I move forward, then we're mostly seeing his shield. But we're trying. At the end of the day, we do have to try. Takeshi. Up a shot. Can you shoot? Can you throw a grenade? Yes, you can. So we're gonna throw two grenades here. It's not a whole lot, but it is something. We're doing damage to his armor at least. I am going to bring the heavy here. I can do a war cry. But I don't think it's worth the will points. Okay. Let's run here. I don't see any kind of allies. Which worries me slightly. Yeah, not a whole lot. We wouldn't be doing a lot of damage. So we'll do another overwatch. Oh, there they are. Took a while for them to show up. Oof. Yeah, that... That hurt a lot. Okay, he got hit as well. No. Mm. With another shot here. Okay, he missed. I don't think we're gonna lose him, but we're going to have to retreat him and quickly. For the moment, let's just heal. Then, where are we going to retreat him? Let's retreat him here. Moving. Free aim. Yeah, not... We don't have a good sh place to shoot from here, which is weird. But what can we do? Like, I thought that we would... We would have a good shot. Let's see, if I use a sniper. Get even closer here. Get 
There we go. A good shot to the head. Let's bring you forward. Almost feels like it's a bad idea, but we're gonna throw another grenade. Damage his shield, a bit more damage to the armor. Should I do a shout? Bringing you forward doesn't seem like a good idea. But I could try to get up here. Just so I can have some sort of vantage point. For the next turn. Let me do some sort of an overwatch like this. All of this is half cover. And I could go with the same idea, but there's no protection. They're building really weird buildings. And these windows provide no kind of cover. Come on, Sinidrian Sniper. They're just moving around. They have good weapons. Yeah. yeah, I think that guy is dead. Oof. But from this range and given the fact that we've reduced his armor, it seems like we're doing better. So, Preparing to fire. I can't really do any kind of damage there. With the heavy... Still can't. Let me get closer. Right about here. Heading out. We'll shoot from his side and hopefully this range is not too much. It's not. There we go. Almost done with one of them. So I come here, and we'll have a line of sight on this guy, if we just hit, almost hit. If I come here, I have some sort of cover. But that's not really good cover from that guy let's move takeshi sato forward cool we've taken down the sniper which was the biggest damage dealer out of them all i'm gonna bring the heavy down let's see okay we just managed to Damage the equipment, not a whole lot. I just need to catch my breath. Jacob is a good healer. But we need to move him out. Or at least give him better copper, and we'll do that. Finally, we bring Irina, our sniper, and see if we can take this guy out. We have hit his shield. Oh, apparently he's still alive. That is a good hit there with a beautiful weapon. Okay. Miss and another miss. So they don't have this crazy accuracy. Let's take our heavy, bring him forward, 
Yeah, we're gonna take a bit of damage, but that is fine. If we're paying them back. Almost. At this point, I feel like I could take him. Okay, one more shot. Done. Which leaves us with one more enemy. Sniper, can you... Well, that was a good hit. And now he's also panicked. Maybe, just maybe... We can flank him right here. Ah! Almost. Almost had it. Let's try again. In my sights. And we'll do a free aim this time. No, it... For some reason, it didn't... The armor was too much. Huh. Okay. If I should do the pistol, does that do anything? Well, fortunately not. I almost feel like we're in trouble, but maybe not. Here I am. Let's get closer. Finger on the trigger. And I will try to give it a, an overwatch. As soon as he takes his shield down, we're gonna try to shoot. But maybe this sniper will take it out. Cool! And I am guessing that the pure have one more soldier, probably this guy here. Standing by. With that in mind, let's do this. Where would they come from? Would they come from here or would they come through the door? Let's say that they're gonna come through the edges. Moving. I'll bring Takeshi here. Ooh, they have another sniper. I do not like that. We're gonna retreat Takeshi then. I'm moving an assault forward. I'm on Overwatch. With Jacob, we're gonna put another Overwatch here. Bring her down. And once again, same idea, put the Overwatch on. Move our sniper. And I'm gonna bring her as close to the battlefield as I can. Even if we don't do overwatch, we will be able to shoot during the next turn. Okay, so he will stay there apparently. And there's no real reason for him to move. Could get let's get some heavy cover here. I want to take control of the sniper. Let's do this. It's not to risk our soldiers for anything. I and I am going to be using the sniper. I could even get like an overwatch here, right? On the lookout. Takeshi, you stay there. We do not want to lose you. I'm on the move. Jacob, you take an overwatch here. Nothing's getting past me. Bring Nina a bit forward and have her on overwatch as well. Anything that moves dies. And finally this kind of overwatch with our sniper. What will it do? Well, just get get a good shot and nobody responds to it what is this so that is a gun this is a sniper and that is just ammunition i will try to bring the sniper around Uh, 
I will see if I could use the heavy right here. Let's target something like so. Just did some damage to the shield, but nothing else. Jacob, do an overwatch there. Irina, can you shoot? The answer is yes. Not the most accurate, but we're gonna try it. Well, we've took, a, took down the wall, partially. With Sophia, I could throw a grenade. But it doesn't make it outside from what I can see. And what I'm going to do is that I'll do an overwatch like that. And finally another overwatch like this. Let's see what it does. Okay, it gets some responses, but not a whole lot of them. I think he ran out of ammo that he's using the gun. We're gonna weaken him. Beautiful. Can I use the heavy here? All I need is a clear shot. Yep. On the march. Okay. And then one final shot. Jacob, here I am. you've taken a hit to the head. Why don't you close this? And there we go. An interesting mission. We've defended the heaven, got a lot of resources, got a level up and a bit more experience. Took some injuries. But all in all, we don't want to give the pure any kind of extra strength. I'm not sure if there's a good it is a good idea to let them weaken the other heavens. The problem is humanity will lose if we let them go too far. We want to take over humanity, not... Oh, so these are some of the items we've recovered from the ground. Okay. Sinidrian crossbow, New Jericho, sniper rifle, and an Ar Arachne SP-1. Sinidrian spider drone specialized pistol. Deploy a controllable spider drone. If you don't have an infiltrator in your squad, drones will revert to AI control. As a celebration of friendship and cooperation, Sinidrians shared some of their key research with us. Nuclear fusion technology, Sinidrian battle armor, and Sinidrian aircraft technology. You seem to be genuinely on our side. And everyone here at Synedrion really appreciates that. Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project, not because we're trying to be obstinate, but because we've had some pretty terrible experiences that we prefer not to repeat. You know that I have high hopes for an alliance between the Phoenix Project and Synedrion. So my advice is this. What would be really helpful right now would be a more direct, demonstration of your support. That could really win some hearts and minds. At this moment, we have a couple of really important projects running. The sort that could actually change the future, like improving our mist repelling tech, which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology, or deploying a new breed of modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better, and there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once, and it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. I mean... Mystery pillars could help humanity regain its balance. I don't know if... We necessarily want that. The planet is ours and we should 
take direct control of its ecosystem. Um, the planet is ours? So, you're more on Nikolai's side of this debate, are you? He's one of the Terraformers, the faction that believes... I guess we'll just leave it at that. At this point, I'm not really planning to go with Synedrian. They've shared some of their technology with us. Power plant energy production is increased. Let us use this opportunity because we've helped them to get nuclear fusion technology for that extra power. However, I am more interested, of course, of helping the disciples. So with that in mind, this is all the time that we have for today. But I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.